Good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. How was your day? Very good. Very good. Very good. 
Okay. What activities did you do during the day? For me, the question? Yes. Okay. What, what activities <laughs> did you do during the day? Uh, today, I activated with in my, I worked uh, all day in my school. And I, reunion, como se dice? Session? Meeting. Meeting. Living. Meeting. Reading. Meeting. Meeting. Uh, I have a uh, meeting with my teacher and the school. Okay. Uh, for the planification activity and uh, day the mother, mother day. Oh, for Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, can someone tell me what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, I I visit my mom in the cemetery. Cemetery sería, ¿cómo sería cemetery? Yeah, yeah, it can cemetery. be. Yeah. I visit that my sense. mother in the cemetery uh, in the morning. In the morning. With my family. Okay. Another last example, Saul. What are your plans for tomorrow? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What are, what are you? Repeat, please. How are you today? Um, I'm a little tired, but for my for my relatives but <laughs> because my 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 grandson continues in the hospital and he's oh. not he's not good but i'm so sorry yeah, teacher a, but but I'm sorry, teacher. yes i i pray to god uh, every day because i know that god is is in god we trust in God yes, we trust. In God we trust. This, yeah, the chain yes, my plans in my plans for tomorrow. Well, yeah. um, uh, tomorrow I'm going to the gym in the in the morning, I think. And in the afternoon, I think that I'm going to I'm going to to go to the supermarket and well, I think that I am going to stay at home the rest of the day. Because okay. we need to to rest a little. Okay. And what about your mom? Yeah, I, my mom. She's a little better. Ah, okay. Yeah. Excellent. She she is um. Descansando, como se dice. Yeah, it's, uh, she 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 take it's a rest. Okay. Yes, yeah, she take, take a rest. Yeah, ella okay. toma un descanso. Take a rest. Okay. She take a rest. Okay, excellent. Now, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. good evening. Good evening, Byron. Okay, tell me, Elmer, what are your plans for tomorrow? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Um, I don't know, but I think uh, I'm going to visit my mom in yeah. the morning and uh, afternoon. I um, I come back to my house and stay home. And uh, in the night, um, At maybe night. I go into uh, dinner for the restaurant. Oh, with, with, with your my, mom. With my, with, no, with my wife. Okay. Okay. Oh, only that, teacher. Excellent. Now, Damaris. What are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, my plan for tomorrow is um, What are your plans? Lunch with my family. Okay. And what about your mom? Can you tell me, please? Maybe she has an inconvenience with the, with the audio, right? Now, the question is for Byron. Byron, what are your plans for tomorrow? 
only make a meaning of almuerzo. Yeah. Only lunch, make a lunch. lunch. Uh, okay, thanks. Only make a lunch. Make a lunch and enjoy with you with your mom. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> Excellent. And what kind of food? What kind of food did you make for tomorrow? What do you make for tomorrow? Meat, rice, and salad. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, and a soup. Soup. Chicken yeah. soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What about Sandra Janet? How are you, Sandra? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Can you tell me what are your plans for tomorrow? Well, I'm going to the restaurant uh, in the evening. Okay. For With my your mom. mom. Okay. Yes. What else? And Pizza Hut. In Pizza Hut. Okay. Okay. Only that? Uh, maybe That's in... All. No, teacher. In the morning, I'm, I'm cooking for my mother. I make a, a cake. Oh, yes. nice, <laughs> nice, excellent. Thanks for your participation. What about, let me see, Cecilia Romero. How are you, Cecilia? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Fine, fine. Okay, can you tell me what are your plans for tomorrow? My plans, uh, we will take flowers. To my mother, to the cemetery. Ah, okay. And then I'm going to visit to my mother at the cemetery. Okay. cemetery. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah, okay. Me too. My plans for tomorrow is visit, but but uh, in the um, in the middle in the middle day, I need to go to the hospital again oh. because I need to visit to my my grandson. And um, maybe later, uh, I'm going to go to the cemetery to visit my mom. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 Now, what about, let me see, Elizabeth del Carmen. How are you today, Elizabeth? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What are your plans for tomorrow, Elizabeth? Uh, I, my plan for tomorrow is um, I'm going to the beach to early with my family. We going to the uh, La Union beach oh. all day. All day, <laughs> nice. What about Iris? How was your day, Iris? Hi, teacher. My Hi. day is very good, but I very, how do you say, muy uh, ocupado? Very busy. Very busy, yes. Okay. And can you tell us what are your plans for tomorrow? My plan is go out with her for a while and enjoy a delicious uh meal meal together yeah uh, um, um yeah and uh it it depends what we hear okay nice what about let me see arsenio how was your day arsenio good evening teacher good evening. i fine i fine to you okay can you tell us what are your plans for tomorrow? 
Um, tomorrow, I plan to call my mother and, and gratulate for Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. Um, yes, um, I, I cannot visit it here because I, I have to go to work. Ah, okay. Okay, thanks a lot. Carlos Fernando, how, what are your plans yes. for tomorrow, Carlos? In the morning, I will, to, I will go to the cemetery. Uh, in the afternoon, I will go to visit to my grandmother. Mm -hmm. uh, in the night, I'm At going night. to have dinner with my mom. Okay, excellent. Now, what about Aleli? What are your plans for tomorrow? Um, I will be at my house in the afternoon. We will go to the diner, my mother, my sisters, nice. Uh, my children's only. Okay. Um, they relax. Okay. Nice. Now, cuando les pregunte así si alguien más quiere participar, me levanta la mano. Right. Now, I continue with the topic yesterday's class. Did you remember what was our topic yesterday? Relatives clauses. Relative clauses. Yes. Let me see. Video and here we have components that I told you yesterday. And in this case, relative clauses. I told you yesterday that relative clauses are those that give essential or additional information about a person or something that had already been mentioned before. And I told you that there are two main types of relative clauses. The first one is defining, let me see, the first one is defining relative clause. Let me change, change the color, okay. Defining relative clause and the second is non-defining relative clauses. In the first one that is defining relative clause, it gives us necessary information so that we understand what they are talking about. This is an example. She's the woman who helped me yesterday. If I eliminate this part, it's not sense. It has not sense, right? No tendría sentido si yo le quito esto, ¿verdad? Porque dice que esta nos da la información necesaria para que nosotros podamos entender de qué están hablando. Si en este ejemplo yo le elimino esto, el who helped me yesterday, no tendría sentido la oración porque solamente diría she's the woman. But she's the woman what? And then we need an additional information that in this case is who helped me yesterday. And the complete sentence said, she's the woman who helped me yesterday. We need this additional information. In the second, second time, types is noun defining relative, relative clauses. The first one is defining, but the second is non-defining. Here, Add additional information, additional information about the things or people to which we referred. But it is not vital 
to understand the situation, yeah, about things or people to which we refer, but it's not vital to understand the situation. Like this example, the woman who is my neighbor helped me yesterday. In this case, what happened if I eliminate this one? What happened if I if I say who is I, my neighbor? Yeah, is my neighbor. Yeah, but if I eliminate this, this okay. Said the woman helped me yesterday. It makes sense, yes or no? If I say the woman helped me yesterday. ¿Tiene sentido si yo digo, the woman helped me yesterday? Yes or no? No. No. Why? No. I think yes. Yes. Sí tiene sentido porque si yo digo, la mujer, eh, la mujer me ayudó ayer. Me ayudó ayer. The woman, ¿ya? Yeah? Me ayudó ayer. O podría decir, this woman, esta mujer, yes, this woman, esta mujer me ayudó ayer. Tiene sentido, ¿verdad que sí? Yes. Ya. Yeah. Aunque yeah, yo le quito yeah. eso. Sí, vaya, si yo le dejo eso, dice, esta mujer, ¿quién es? Mi vecina me ayudó ayer. Entonces, ¿qué sucede si yo le quito el, el who is my neighbor? La oración siempre tiene sentido. Porque eso es una información innecesaria decir quién es mi vecina. Solamente puede decir, esta mujer me ayudó ayer. Si usted quiere, pues agrega la información complementaria que sería esto. Who's my neighbor? My neighbor. And then, aquí dice que agrega información adicional acerca de cosas o personas a las cuales nos referimos. Pero no es vital para entender la situación. In the first one, yes. In the first one is yes. Is important, is, is essential, or is necessary to put the information in the, in the first one, in defining. And in not defining, is not necessary to understand the situation. Yeah? Because who is my neighborhood is additional information, right? It's additional information. Nice. It means that without the relative clause, the sentence would still make sense. ¿Ya? Yeah? Significa que la relative clause, la oración, siempre tiene sentido si nosotros le quitamos esto. Right? Yeah. And then, this is the main types of relative clauses. Now, it's important to mention that let me see if we have additional information. But here, let me see, only change the color of this information. And I need to give you another, another important thing. Okay. Teacher, I have Relative. Question. Yes, tell me. Yeah, it's about the PPT, where, uh, where we can find the presentation. This presentation or, or? Yeah, all the presentation. All the presentation. Yeah. Vaya, pero esta, esta presentación, la que yo les estoy dando ahorita, es la que les envío todos los días el link al grupo. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Ahí siempre, todos los días, al finalizar la clase, el, el video lo subimos a YouTube y les mando el link. Ya ustedes se pueden meter al link y ahí pueden copiar toda la información que consideren necesaria. ¿Ya? No les doy una, un link de, de, de internet y todo porque, porque yo solamente trabajo con, con partes nada más. Solo eh, agrego información adicional como para que les quede más clara la, la gramática de cada tema, ¿verdad? Right? 
Now. Okay. okay. Now, relative pronouns. Estos relative pronouns que les voy a poner son los, eh, son los que hacen posible que se haga la relative clauses, la, la oración relativa. Like, for example, we work with who? Who? Y that? No. Yes. Yes. Who? ¿Para qué usamos who? ¿Para qué nos sirve who? For, for person. Yes. Who easy to use to refer to refer to the people and sometimes to animals, but depending on of the context, both to identify them and to add additional information. Yes. About the subject, right? About the subject, yes. So uh, you can you can use with with animals and people principally. Now, another is that. 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 Okay. We can uh, use that for things, right? Things in a person. Yes, use for people here. Aquí se lo voy a poner mejor. Okay, in who? Use it, let me see. Is it used to refer to people, to people and sometimes to animals, depending on the context, on the context. This is who. Now, the next one is that, that use for what? People as objects and animals. Animal. And animals, yeah. Use for people as object and animals. Yes, el that. Not, it is important to mention that, that it's, okay, we are that, here, in animals. I put you the example, like this, it's the share that I want. This is an example. Is it the share that I want? Esta es la silla que necesito o que quiero, that, ¿ya? Yeah? For objects, in this case, ¿ya? Yeah? Yeah. That, and we have, let me see. Only pay aquí, because I need more space. Not, now, we have a wish. Which is another, another, relative pronoun that we can use. Uh, this is, let me see, this is words uh, for object, it's for object and animals. In this case, can be replaced by that. You can say which or that, yeah? It's, both are for, for object and animals, and which. And you can use, let me see another. I have whose, whose. Eh, esta casi no se usa, casi no se usa, pero eh, eso ejer, ejerce la, la, la función de un posesivo como para un posesivo para personas. Possessive to people, animals, and things. Puede trabajar como un posesivo para personas, animales o cosas. ¿Ya? Now, pero se usa poco. Who's, quiénes. De quiénes. ¿Ya? Por It's ejemplo, who's common. that? Who's that? If... 
imagine that that are two persons and then you you say to others who's that quiénes son yeah quiénes son ellos Teacher, because, we, can, yeah. we can use that only in plural in plural or in singular no both both are okay. the same yeah in plural okay. singular now good evening teacher how Sorry good evening collected late okay there is no problem but the, the important is that you are here right thanks teacher okay now whom el whom también casi no lo utilizamos eso casi siempre es para mm -hmm. eh, para contextos formales casi no se usa pero eh, se usa para eh, cosas formales por ejemplo, it means in Spanish, it means eh, a quién, con quién, al cual, o a la cual. Yes, when you speak very formal, you can use whom. Pero casi no se usa, pero es importante conocerlo porque con todo esto usted puede trabajar las relative clauses. ¿Ya? Por eso se las he puesto ahí. Now, do you have any questions for this part? Or I continue with the topic? We can continue okay. with the topic. Yeah, because yeah. I, I have another, another activities another exercise is to practice the information now noun phrases containing relative clauses this is the topic for today noun phrases containing relative clauses now i yesterday i told you that a noun phrase must have a noun on which other modifiers are connected. A noun re refers to the name of a person, thing, or place. Un nombre es un sustantivo, right? ¿Y qué hace el sustantivo? El sustantivo se refiere al nombre de una persona, cosa o lugar. Usted lo usa el sustantivo como para, para hablar o para describir. Describir a, a personas, animales y cosas. This is noun, it means sustantivo in, in Spanish. It's a noun phrase that you, you can use with other modifiers. Now, noun phrases as a subject. We have as a subject and as an object. As a subject, you can write in your notebook the formula. The formula is this one. Subject plus relative clause plus verb to be plus object. As a subject and as an object, the formula is subject plus verb to be plus noun Plus relative close. First one. Here we have the first example. One thing that I really miss in my is my mom's cooking. Okay, one thing that I really miss. Is my mom's cooking. Now, who is the subject here? Aquí tengo el primer ejemplo, miren. The subject here is one, one thing. thing. One thing. ¿Qué es un one sujeto? Thing. Es de lo que hablamos, ¿verdad? El sujeto es de lo que hablamos. And then, one thing. Estamos hablando de que algo, una cosa. De una cosa. One thing. In this case, one thing is the subject. The relative clause is I really miss. I really miss. What is the meaning of I? Only I, I this one. Estaría. I estaría. Yes, or I'd be. Estaría. Yeah? 
Entonces aquí, ¿cómo dice esta oración? One thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking. Una cosa que realmente extraño es a mi mamá cocinando. Yes, is my mom's cooking. Es la cocina de mamá. Yes, cuando lleve el apóstrofe la S, es de, cocina de mamá. Ya. Yeah? One thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking. Now, here the subject is one thing. The relative clause is I really miss. I really miss. Now, the verb to be is, is, this one, is. And the object is my mom's cooking. ¿Qué es un objeto? Un objeto es de lo que se habla, ¿verdad? Es de lo que se habla. Ya, yeah, o de quién se habla. En este caso, estamos hablando de quién? My mom's cooking, de la cocina de mamá. Entonces dice, other things I really miss is my mom's cooking. Es la cocina de mamá. Now, here we have the next example. Something, in this case, in number two, something is the subject. Something. What is the relative clause? Either. Either. Yes, let me see. The song is the problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay, something. Something. I'd be nervous about, this is the relative clause, I'd be nervous about, is the relative clause. What is the verb to be here? Is. 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 And what is the object? Making new friends. Making new, new friends. friends. Yes. Making new friends is the object because it's the thing that we are talking about. And the next one. Two people who I emailed every day are my parents. What is the subject here? Two people. Two people. Two people. Two people that they are subject. And what is the relative clause? I'd. I'd email every day. I'd email every day. No. And object? Are my parents. Are my parents. Are my parents. Yes. Now, as an object. Object is at the end, at the end of a sentence. What is the formula? The formula subject, is subject plus plus verb to be verb to be plus plus noun noun plus, plus relative clause relative clause. Example: My mom's cooking. Is one thing I really missed. Here, as an object, the information is at the end. And as a subject, the information is at the, at the beginning. Yes, at the beginning. And as an object, is at the end. My mom's cooking is one thing that I really missed. And then here, the object, let me see, object. There is no subject, is object. Object. Yeah. 
Now the object is my mom's cooking. Here, my mom's cooking. What is the verb? Is. The noun? One thing. One thing. One thing. And the relative clause? I really miss. I really miss. And then, what is the second example? Making new friends is something that I be nervous about. In, in number two, what is the object? Making new friends. Making new friends. Making new friends. What is the verb to be? Is. 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 What is the relative clause? Something. Something. I be nervous about. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I really, I really miss. The relative clause can be only I'd be nervous about, right? Estaría nervioso de? Yeah, estaría nervioso de. I, la relative clause siempre va acompañado con esto, miren, con el apóstrofe de. Esa es la relative clause, que dice estaría nervioso, estaría impaciente, estaría qué? ¿Qué más? Estaría perdido. O sea, siempre el, el, el apóstrofe de es la relative clause. Now, I've been nervous about. Y number three, my parents are two people who or that I email every day. What is the object here? My parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. What is the verb? Are. 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 The verb is are. Now, what is the noun? Two people. Two people. Two people. Two people. And what is the relative close? I email, I email, email every, day. every day. I email every day. Okay, now. We have the first exercise. And here is only for only to practice. In number one, the instruction is complete the sentences about living in a foreign country. Use the phrases below. Again, instruction complete the sentences using about living in a foreign country. Use the phrases below. The phrases are my friends, my family, getting sick, trying new foods, my favorite food, my room at home, making new friends, being away from home, speaking a new language, getting lost in a new city, not understanding people, getting used to a different culture. Getting used to a different culture. Now, they are the phrases. And then, it is important to complete the sentences about, about this, that you live in a foreign country, but using these phrases. For example, in number one, in number one said, one thing I de definitely be excited about is one thing Trying you. Okay, one thing I definitely be excited about is trying can be new trying new foods. Yeah. Can be trying. Trying new foods. Trying new foods in number one. Okay. One thing I definitely be excited about is trying new foods. Or can someone tell me another idea? Making new things. Using this one. This one. 
One thing I definitely be excited about is speaking a new language. In my speaking case. a new language. Yes, speaking a new language. It's okay. Here we speaking a new language. Okay, nice. And do you have another idea? For number one. And then with number two. Is something I really miss? Is something I really miss? Take your time and, and read the information and try to compete with this. Is something I really miss? My room at home. Yes. My room at home is something I really miss. My room at home. Oh, do you have another idea? Making new friends. Making new friends can be, yeah. Making a new friends is something I really miss. Yeah, making a new friends. In number three, two things I'd be homesick for are. Two things I be homesick for are. Teacher, what does mean homesick? Hey, getting sick. Okay, no. No. Homesick and number three. Number three. Ah, homesick. homesick. Homesick es nostálgico, pero nostálgico de su casa, que le da nostalgia. Oh. Por ejemplo, usted está en, en Estados Unidos. Usted es, eh, está homesick, está extrañando su casa. Ah, uh, okay. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. You. Okay, you're welcome. Two things I be homesick for are, can be, let me see, can my be family. My, my family or can be my, my friends family. too. My family. Yeah. My family mm. or can be my friends too. Yeah. Two things I be homesick for are my family or for my friends. Or do you have another idea? Okay, number number four. Are two things I be anxious about? Are two things I be anxious about? You can do it. Making getting or getting sick can be getting sick. Making making new friends. Making new friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. let me see. Yes. Are two things I be anxious about? Yeah. Yeah, it can be. It's possible teacher getting used to a different culture. It's possible. Getting used to a different culture, yeah, because he's yeah, anxious, yeah. It's possible. Okay. Yeah, it's possible. Getting used to a different culture can be. In number five, something I get depressed about is Something I get depressed about is getting lost in a new city. <laughs> Could be my run at home. Yeah, but let me see. Something depressed about is, I think, being away. This is the first one. Being away. Let me see. From home. Being away, what? Being away from home. From home. Bye. ¿Cuál es la otra que me dijeron? In number five. 
Is possible getting lost, getting lost in a new city? Getting lost in lost a new city. city. Can be. Teacher, and Italy. getting sick is too. Getting sick. Sick, yes. It's two. Yeah. For yeah. Number five. Yes, can be. Okay. Can be. Okay. Getting sick. Getting sick. Yeah. Now, number six. Is one thing that I might be embarrassed about. Is one thing that I might be embarrassed about. Not Number understanding six. people. Speaking a new language. Not understanding people. No. Not other speaking a new, a new ah, language. Yes. Speaking, speaking a new language. Yes. Speaking a new language. And what else? Do you have another idea? Not understanding people. Yes. This is the most important. No understanding people. It's terrible, right? <laughs> yeah. Not understanding people. Now, in number seven. Seven there is the thing... I feel most uncomfortable about would be uncomfortable about would be the thing I feel most uncomfortable about would, would be getting sick. Can be getting sick, yes. And do you have another idea? Getting lost in a new city is possible too. Let me see. Seven, the thing I be most uncomfortable will be. Yeah, it can be. Getting getting lost in, yeah, in a new city mm -hmm. can be. Okay. Next one. In a new city. Number eight. Are the people who I miss the most? Are the people who I miss the most? My friends. My friend. And my family. My family. My friend. My family. There are... Uy, hay mucha interferencia. Okay. My friends and my family. In number nine. One thing... I'd be insecure about is, one thing I'd be insecure about is, in number nine. Getting lost in a new city. First one is, I consider that is speaking a new language. And another one, getting lost. Not understanding people. A new city and... Not understanding. Not understanding people. Not understanding people. Okay. One thing I've been secure about is speaking a new language, getting lost in a new city, and not understanding people. What about number 10? Are two things I'd be very enthusiastic about? Are two things. Speaking a new language for me. <laughs> ah, okay. A Speaking My a new language. Food. And My trying new food. foods. What about trying new foods? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Trying yes. new foods. <laughs> and another. Speaking a new language. Esta me dijeron, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. A new language. Speaking a new language. Making a new friends. Can be making new friends too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, new friends. Okay. Now, in this case, who is or which is the, in, in number one, 
Which the relative clause? ¿Cuál es la relative clause in number one? I definitely. I definitely. I definitely be excited about. I definitely be excited about. In number two, what is the what is I the relative? Really, I really miss. I really miss. Really miss. Number three. I be I home. be I be homesick. Home I be homesick home for four. four. In number four. I be anxious about anxious about number five. I get depressed about it. About. about I get depressed about depressed about number six. It's different, right? It's different, yes. That, yeah, that, that, that I might be, be embarrassed that, about. Yeah, I can be, yes, I might be embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. I feel I most, I feel most, most uncomfortable. uncomfortable. I feel most uncomfortable about. About. Yes. In number eight. I miss the most. I miss the most. I miss the most. Number nine. I'd be insecure about. Insecure about. And the last one, number ten. I'd be very enthusiastic about. Enthusiastic about. Excellent. You are very smart. Now. Okay, now. This exercise. Imagine you are going to travel to a country you have visited before. Write sentences using the factors and feelings given. Here we have the factors and here the feelings. What is the meaning of feelings? Sentirse. Sentimiento, ya, yeah, o sentirs. Now, then, Add another sentence, explain your feelings. This is the first example. Public transportation is something I'd be anxious about. This is the second, the second sentence explain. I'd be afraid of getting lost. Public transportation is something I be anxious about. I be afraid of getting lost. Now, can you write in your notebook at least two? At least two, two sentences using the factors and feelings given. Take this example. Yeah. Inventing, inventing two. Two sentences, write in your notebook using the factors and feelings given. Then add another sentence, explain your, your feelings, Ex explaining your feelings.
teacher, the yeah. architecture in the downtown San Salvador is fascinating, sometimes fascinating. Oh, let me see. Only copy okay. this, ex this example. Give me a second. A suffer extreme. Extreme temperatures. This is an example. Temperatures. Okay. Let me see. Okay, ¿cuál es su ejemplo, Aleli? Ay, teacher, mejor la voy a estructurar diferente. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. I put another the language is something. I B fascinated by I be very excited about Japan. Okay, someone tell me one example. There are some, ah, uh, it's Alicia Beatriz. The food is something that, let me, let me clear, the food is something ID fascinating. This is an example of Alicia Beatriz. Let me see. Fascinating about. I think I I'm wrong. Very, give me a second. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic for taste. This is an example of, of Alicia. She sent me, sent me by chat. Okay. Uh, teacher. Tell me. I think I'm wrong because the, per, the, the adverse, the adjective fascinating, enthusiastic. I think I, I could use ED and I use ING and enthusiastic. I use the yes. word in other, in other form. In which one? Es que creo que lo hice mal porque fascinating. Mm -hmm. Veo que el verbo lo tuve que haber usado en, en pasado porque tiene el ED. Ah, yes. Ajá. yes. Y en very enthusiastic. Y me parece que también tuve que haberlo puesto con ED y lo puse mal. Ok. Yo lo copié así como lo puso. Vamos a ver. The food is something I be fascinated about. Dice con el cual estuve fascinada. ¿Ya? Yeah. I be very enthusiastic for taste new flavors. ¿Cuál otra me dijo? Enthusiastic. No estoy muy segura. No, sí, it's tenía. ok. It's okay. okay. Yes, because enthusiastic is a noun. It's not a verb. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay, you're welcome. Now, do you have any any example? Si no les puede quedar de tarea, there is no problem. It's to practice. Pueden hacer unos dos o tres. 
Y el, el miércoles, no, el jueves sería, ¿verdad? Porque mañana es miércoles y no tenemos clase. Sería para el jueves. Recuerden que jueves y viernes vamos a tener clase los dos días. Y terminamos este viernes, terminamos ya nuestro, nuestro curso. Ok, teacher. Very, yeah. very, very fast. Ok. Yes, sí, very fast. O, ¿quién, ¿Quién me da un ejemplo? Solamente uno copiamos y nos quedamos hasta ahí. Ya. Yeah. Teacher, uh, I don't know is is uh, is um, okay. Good is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the clim the climate is something. Ya. Yeah. Is something un uncomfortable. I be hot. I don't know is is correct. Uncomfortable. What else? Uncomfortable. Uh, I be I be hot. I be hot. Hot. Yes. Yes. I is don't know. Comfortable. And can be something. I be can be something you can put. I be uncomfortable okay. because okay. you you uncomfortable is a feeling, and then you mix factors yeah. and feelings. Mm -hmm. The climate okay. is something I be uncomfortable. To cause can be to cause mm -hmm. hot. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, no problem. Okay, you're welcome. And then you can write in your notebook at least three examples using factors and feelings. And okay. you can you can tell me. I me los me lo da el 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 jueves. Perfect, ¿Ya? teacher. Para compararlo okay. y así tienen tiempo de repasar. I will practice about yeah. that. Yes, there is no problem. And then enjoy uh, with your mom. Tomorrow, you too, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. No, like, uh, my mother is die, but but I I enjoy with my daughters. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yes, that's great. But in this case, it will be a little different because my my little daughter is in the hospital with my grandson, and oh. then yes so, and yes and then I I trying to. How is going your family, teacher? How is going your family? Uh, the, he's, he's bad. He's bad, bad. But oh my, my, my faith is in God that, that he's better. He will be better. I, I hope, uh, I hope um, uh, he is um, better tomorrow. Yes, I hope that, yeah. Okay, thanks for your coming and thanks for your responsibility. And see you on, on what? Thank you. On Thank Thursday, you. right? Thursday. Okay, bye bye. Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you on Have Thursday. a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.